Hello everyone, Epiclips here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a mod that you guys might remember, and it's called Rocket Launcher. So this is the mod that everyone basically knows for Rocket League, and it, it allows you to customize your Rocket League and do a whole bunch of fun things with Rocket League and customize and do uh, custom games and things of that sort. So you guys might have not seen this around for a while, and that's because it, it hasn't really been around for a little bit, but they basically put it all back together and now have work together and have a couple new modders and stuff like that in the whole rocket launcher community. So they're pushing out a brand new update of it that is a lot nicer, a lot better working, and they've really put a lot of work and effort into it. So you guys should really go check it out. But in this video, I'm going to be explaining how exactly you use it and where to get it, how to download it and all the stuff like that and all features that are in rocket launcher itself. So first of all, where are you going to get it from? Uh, we will open that real quickly. Uh, here we go. The same place as before. If you guys remember, uh, rocket league mods.com, this is their website. Uh, it has a whole bunch of other mods on there. But when it is done, and I must say right now that it is not out at this current time that I'm going to post the video, it should be out tonight. Uh, tonight is uh, October 2nd, so if you're watching it, it should be out tonight or tomorrow. Uh, so that's around when they plan on launching it. But uh, so also the version that I am using is the beta. So if there's a couple little bugs while I'm doing the video, that is because I'm going to have I have the beta. And when you guys have it, you guys are going to have the very first launch of it. So there might still be a couple bugs in there, a couple little errors and stuff like that. And your game might crash from a couple little things, but they're going to keep on working on it and making it better and putting new modes and different mods into it. And I must say they have put a ton of work into it. And when you guys see it, which I'm going to show you in just a second, it, it is really awesome. So you'll get it from this page. It will be here basically. Uh, and it'll be called rocket launcher as it was previously. And uh, you will go and you'll click it. I'll just show you with this. And then you'll go press download here and it will download into a zip file. And for me, I have it just in a file on my desktop named rocket launcher and it's right here and this is sort of what you guys will get when you download it uh it'll look like that so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your rocket league and then you're going to want to just launch rocket launcher it's just that simple and if you guys remember before it was this huge menu but now the menu's integrated integrated into your rocket league which is a lot better so first of all we're going to go over what the main mods are and all the stuff that you can do once you're in a custom game and then we'll go, we'll go over how do you connect to different land matches and then how you can play custom maps on land matches. So first of all, what you want to do as before is you're going to want to load the mods and it will make a little noise like that and it will be injected. So there we go. We can then you could just move this off to the side. So I'm going to move it to my other monitor really quickly. And then from here, how you access it, there's two buttons. You could either press the tilde button, which is the button next to your one key if you didn't know what it is, or the home key. So if you press that, you'll see this little menu kind of come up here, which is brand new. Um, on the main menu, you really can't do that much, but they do have one menu mod and it allows you to customize the blog. So this thing, um, close it out really quickly and open it. And you can customize it here and, uh, I don't know exactly what you can do from here, but uh, you can play around with this yourself and it can customize the blog. So that's pretty cool, uh, but not really the main feature behind Rocket Launcher and why most people use it. So let's close this out really quickly. The little X is on the top right there. It's kind of hard to notice. So if you didn't notice it, that's where it is. Um, then we have to close it. We'll close this out and then we'll, we'll just uh, we'll just host a local game and We'll create one. First, as I said, we're going to be going over what Rocket League Rocket Launcher has to offer itself. So here we go on the top here. There is a whole bunch of things. But first of all, I am going to go into game event mods. And yes, there's a lot of stuff here and I will be going over all of it. But I just want to make it a limited time so the game does not end while we're in it. Uh, okay, so we're not going to go over that first. We're actually going to start over game modes here. And these are four game modes that they've put in and made themselves that are pretty fun. And um, actually, they're really awesome. And you guys should really try them out and check them out because they're, um, they're a ton of fun. So before, uh, you guys might know that this, this mode is Rumble Mods. And this is basically the Rumble mod that they had before. Um, you could 
change the when you get the items and then as of right now all you can get is crazy items and that's just a whole bunch of like pr random presets that they've put in but they plan in the future to have it so you can customize all the items yourself and you know with the tornado customize its radius and all stuff like that and basically make your own like rumble game type which is fun but as of right now since this is their first patch uh you basically just get the crazy items which is a whole bunch of fun and i must mention when you make the game before you make it you have to have rumble on because when you don't have rumble on this won't work so that's that um we will close that up and since you guys pretty much will know what that is already or you can give it a try for yourself uh we're gonna we're not really gonna play with that and then there's zombies game mode and enabling that makes it so here they come oh i should probably close that and they're gonna basically come to try to demo you and that's that's the whole game mode is they're gonna they're gonna just come and do that so that's that's a fun game mode um another one that was in it preemptively um the last version of it and then here's uh two of the new modes that they just put in and also they do plan on releasing more modes i believe but this one i love a lot it's called 50 50. so this one's basically there's an interval and it's just with between all the players in the game you can either have it demo them or just create a random goal explosion underneath them so it will basically be like every 20 second it will choose a player to either demo or create the goal explosion so if we just do the goal explosion and enable it um, again, this is a little bit of a bug that they have going on right now, uh, but that will be fixed from launch. So in 20 seconds, one of us will explode with, uh, <laughs> from a goal explosion. So this is again, another really fun mode and, uh, with a whole bunch of people, it could be kind of fun. So there we go. That was the goal explosion there. And I blew up out of the four people that were there. Um, and then the other game mode that they have is called drainage and, Basically, it is. it says it right here, when players will be demolished when they run out of boost. So if you enable that, you will slowly start. You can, well, first of all, you can customize how much your decay rate is. And it will slowly decay. And then once you hit zero boost, if you aren't getting any, you will. So those are the four game modes that they put in there. And um, honestly, I think they're pretty fun. All of them are... Uh, Okay, there we go. Fixed. Uh, all of them are pretty fun, so I would definitely recommend getting a couple friends together and trying them out, which I will show you later on how to do that. Um, and then we have land modes, and that's just hosting. And, um, you know, you can change the settings and stuff like that in there. And then uh, joining servers. This I will go over in just a couple. Uh, I want to go over all the other things that they've put in. Okay, so um, back to other things, just uh, random things they put in here. Uh, the ball mods, this is... Uh, Something that's been in uh, the Rocket League mods uh, modding for a very long time. Uh, so you can change the ball scale, make it bigger, make it smaller. That's the ball right there if you can't see it. It's kind of funny. Um, and then you could also spawn in as many balls as you want. <laughs> there you go. So again, this one's pretty fun. Um, you know, definitely spawning in a whole bunch of bots and having a whole bunch of the balls and then doing the 50-50 mode with that. Uh, I was just doing it literally before I recorded the video and it was so much fun. And then next into car mods, there's a whole bunch of different car mods here. Um, so you can uh, pick a certain car or you can do it to all cars. So say I just want to make my car a little bit bigger, I can apply that and it look, it will just do my car and none of theirs. But if I clicked all, now we all have that same. Uh, and then also if someone joins the game, the respawn before scale, it will just respawn all the bots. All right, we're back into the game. Yep. So that, that again comes from me just, you know, having the earlier version of it. Obviously there's going to be when it first comes out a couple little bumps to it, but that was just one of the things that if you do them together, sometimes it makes crash. Um, and then, uh, you can freeze cars in place now, basically make it so, uh, the cars won't be able to move and everyone will be frozen. And then you could demolish all cars on the opposing side. So let me spawn in a couple bots. I that I will just spawn in two. And I could demolish it. So whenever you're on the opposing side of the field, if you're on the ground, of course, it demolishes their car. So it's it's a pretty interesting thing. And I, I personally like doing that just normally. I oh, just scored. Oh, no, he saved it. Um, so I personally like doing that normally. It's pretty fun to try to do like an aerial dribble challenge with it. 
um so you don't touch the other side and it just pushes you back so that's a pretty fun one and then you have unlimited boost which obviously you guys know what that is and then you have jump timeout and that's basically how many seconds it takes before your car takes a timeout yeah well time out the jump so if i put that up a lot to like six you notice i can sit up here for a second and then i can still jump which normally you wouldn't be able to. so also my car is currently frozen in place i'm pretty sure i'm going it um just respawn my car really quickly and then we have your torque rate which is a fun one to mess with so if i put it up a little bit it basically allows you well makes you just it makes you just spin a lot quicker um that, that basically is what it does uh on my core and i think that's what work. so it doesn't look that much quicker but if you put the number up a lot obviously it is a ton quicker so that's pretty cool and then they um have unlimited jumps like before so if we just skip this replay we'll be able to jump a whole bunch let's do it there's the torque speed also and <laughs> yeah so it's pretty it's pretty funny and it gets pretty extreme but it's a fun little mod that they put in there um okay so that's everything basically for uh car physics mods and then if we go in player mods it will allow you to just do a couple little things so say i wanted to delete uh demolish shepherd it shall demolish him Oh, that's disabled um so. so i could demolish him uh that's basically what this is meant for so if you need to demolish a player if they're bugged out or something you can do that or just if you want to mess around with your friends and demolish them you could also do that as well um and then game events so these this is the biggest one there's a couple tabs here so if you close out the tabs it's not as big but um, here's a couple tabs that it has. Uh, game controls, you can force overtime, pause the server, so it pauses everything. Uh, you can restart the match, restart players, reset ball, and things of that sort. And then in match setting, you can uh, change the respawn time, change the score, disable goal delay. So that's basically just disable goal reset. So there's no replay, so we'll just put that on really quickly. Unlimited time, which will make the time just start counting upwards. So... Now that would be a lot more convenient so when he scores it just goes back there um and then message setting uh there's a really quick warning with this one and that's if you change the values of it your game will crash when the server ends so just keep in mind that so it's just player scored so you can write whatever you want there and then press update player message and uh then it'll be like your teammate whatever you know you can literally make it say whatever you want um, and then bots is just you can freeze the bots like that and then you can spawn in loads if you want to so what I was just doing before um, this is about 40 bots so you can just have them all spot in spawn in and start playing if I wanted to we can have 80 bots and yes Rocket League well depending on your computer should be able to support about 80 um, before I had about 200 with the 50 50 mode going and that was a lot of fun but uh We'll let them go do their thing. And then this is Tim's uh, test stuff or two's test stuff. And this is all stuff that is going to be coming out eventually. But as of right now, it can crash the game. So this allows more than eight players to join your server. So if you have more than eight friends to join your server, you can have more than eight people come join. Uh, this randomizes the spawn points. So basically you could spawn wherever. Uh, random explosion test. And that just makes random explosions. Uh, you can set a warm up and then you could hide the replays, uh, which I don't know exactly what that does. So that's all with that. What's in the game events category. Uh, it's pretty fun. They put a whole bunch of new things in there. If you guys haven't noticed. Um, and then in other mods, there's manage inventory, but this is basically, that's what they put in there game wise. So we're, right now we're going to switch over and I'm going to explain to you guys how to host and join uh, land matches to have your friends join and do crazy stuff together. So let's leave this match really quickly and we will go over that. All right. So we're going to be going over how to join and host land servers. Uh, hosting is really easy. Hosting is really easy. So we'll go over that second, but joining is also really easy, but we're gonna go over it first. Um, so to join, there's two ways to do it. You can route your IP 
give it to people and then they can join that way through rocket launcher itself uh right here they can do it through there or if you go to home land mode join server you could do it just through there as well and that will allow people to join land servers if you know how to route your ip and i'm not going to show you guys because it is different for everyone's router and everything so if you want to look up how to do it that way i would recommend looking up how to route your ip in general so then <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> so then you can do it that way but the second way and the easier way to do it is just going through uh log me and hamachi and making your own hamachi server and having your friends join that and then basically if you guys all have hamachi open you go and you go to play local and you'll go to join local lobby and it will show up right here uh, if your friend is hosting one and also a very cool thing to note is if they do not have rocket launcher all <coughs> if they do not have rocket launcher that is completely fine all the the only thing that is needed is the host to have rocket launcher and then he can do all the custom modes from there so that's pretty cool and then just for hosting one it is basically you go in here you could go into the mutators and just like hosting a normal local match and then press create match you don't need a name and password or anything and you create your match and then it will show up here as long as they are in here your hamachi so it is really really easy to do and so it's so simple with the new implementation of LAN. The final thing that I would like to go over before the end of the video is how to make... So I want to talk about how to get uh, workshop maps working on LAN. And the way this works is it swaps one of your maps with uh, the whatever workshop map you want to use. So to do this with a server, everyone in the server needs to do this. So all your guys' maps are switched the same way because it will all switch the same map to the whatever map you select so if we want to go on the map uh, quad goal we will just put swap and then when you host i to go to uh let's find it really quickly underpass i believe the map that it switches out i am correct yes it does so underpass is the map that it switches out for whatever map you decide on so as of right now, we're on a custom workshop map that anyone could join if you were on my Hamachi. So that's one of the many cool things. And of course, all the other modes work. And in the future, I think they plan on making it so you can have four teams. So quad goal will actually be in a very effective map. So you can be playing a 2v2v2v2. Two 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 two. So that would be pretty fun. And I'm really excited to see that in the future. So this is basically everything that they have in the mod right now it's going to be coming out as i said either tonight or tomorrow so stay tuned and if you uh follow their twitter uh they will be posting of course when it's out and uh i will also try to mention somewhere uh, either whether it be on my youtube or with a video or something that rocket launcher is actually out itself but i figured i'd show you guys how to use it so now when you download it you're going to know how to use it and if you need to come back and refresh to it you could just come back here and you can see how to use it fully so uh, i hope this video was helpful and i hope you guys enjoyed it uh this is this is uh really an awesome mod for rocket league so basically you guys should all really try this out because it's so much fun and it lets you to do so many more things with Rocket League that you couldn't do previously. So um, I also want to say a very special thanks to the guys at Rocket Launcher for, you know, letting me into the beta. I know one of them, yes, he is my teammate and I am friends with all of them, but it is very great and I'm very happy for them to let me be able to upload this brief before it actually comes out and let you guys and show you guys it uh, just the day before it comes out. So uh, it's really awesome, and I really recommend downloading it and trying it out for yourself with your friends. It's uh, so much fun. But um, this has basically been it. So this has been Epic Eclipse, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.